Today we will see how do we create diagonal bordered divs. So basically the parent element inside which are the other elements that you want, it's all diagonal, it's slanting. However, the elements inside it, they are all straight. So you can see that this effect is used in many places and it's actually a very beautiful effect. Kudos to whoever thought of this and we will be using CSS3 to achieve this effect. So with that all said, let's get right on to the video. So do not to take up more of your time. This is what I have already created for my web page. Okay, I have the a simple H1 tag. Okay, let's just have a look at the code. I have a div. Okay, I have a div which has the class two skew. Okay, I have an H1 that's a heading tag and given it a class of two unskew and give it the heading lorem ipsum text. In case you are wondering what's the lorem ipsum text, it's simply a random text most web website designers use. You'll probably get used to it uh, after some time. And then I have a paragraph with also the class to unskew and have the closing paragraph tag, which is mostly optional. So, and inside the paragraph, I have a lorem ipsum text. So that gives me the output as this web page. But I'm sure most of you will agree that this web page actually looks very dull. So what can we do about it? So let's go to CSS, okay? In case you wanted to give you guys a CSS tutorial, please do leave them, leave it down in the comment. And in case you have any problems with this tutorial, please do leave that down in the comment too. I'll make sure I get back to you. So in style, what we are going to do is, we are going to start with the styling the div, that's to skew. We're gonna call it here by dot to skew. Okay, and uh, we are going to give it here a background color of gray. All right, we're gonna give it a absolute position positioning it's something uh, not that hard it's simply I've given a position so that I can uh, position the div pixel by pixel or mem by em so I will give it a top I'll give I want it down 190 pixels left I want it to be zero pixels right I want it to be zero pixels so that is totally stretched I'll give it also give it a height of 290 pixels and uh, let's see what that has given us as an output okay this is how it looks like I will give it a font color of white and uh, font size of, I won't give it a font size. Save that bit and let's see what it has given us. So that's what it has given us also. Let's just change the font family to, okay. Let's just change the font family to Arial, okay. Now let's see. Now that has given us this output. Now what I want is that I want this to be diagonal, okay. I do not want this to be straight. So now here's where the magic comes in. It's what we want here is this property, okay? Um, I'll bring this on later. From here to go ahead and put transform, colon, skew y, skew on the y axis 20 degrees. So what that will do is that it will take our whole div and skew it 20 degrees like this. To change it, to alter it, what you can do is that you can change the 20 degrees to 4 degrees. Save it and that's more like it. That's more how you want it in your web page. So you can use that, okay? So you can use to skew four degrees and just like that you've almost done it you have almost done it but there are several more things firstly you know that the elements inside your div they're also gone slanting they have also gone diagonal you don't want that you want them to be straight so in case you want to make sure that it works in safari and internet explorer 9 you can have a dash ms transform skew y and webkit transform skew y and also you want this to be four degrees as well just let me allow me to do that Perfect, let's save it and boom, everything's perfect. Now, we want the elements inside the, uh, the div to be straight, okay? So for that, what we're going to do is that we're going to be going dot to unskew. That's the, uh, that's the class I've given all the elements inside. Remember, h1 class to unskew, p class to unskew. And I'm going to give it a skew property. Let's just copy all this. Copy, paste. I give it to, uh, the skew of minus 4, okay? Keep that in mind, we're gonna give it a skew of minus four here, okay? Save it, reload, boom, it's all straight. Now, of course, we can do quite some things on it. Suppose we can give it a padding left of 10 pixels, a padding right of 10 pixels. We can the padding top of 20 pixels. We're gonna save that bit, and as you can see, that has given us this, and that's very close to what you want in your web page. 
Okay, one thing I forgot to mention previously was in case you want all the text inside your div to be aligned to the center, all you want to do is you want to go to the div and add the property align equals to center, okay? You want to go ahead and add the property align equals to center, center is going to come in colons. So you save that colons, sorry, single quotes. You're going to save that bit and once you open it up and reload, obviously you have this. Now you can alter the height here and there and you have achieved the effect that you want. Obviously, anytime you want, you can obviously, anytime you want, you can simply just reduce the amount of skew present you can go with three degrees to and then this also becomes minus three degrees okay so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if there's anything you want from me anywhere so please do let me know about it i'll make sure that i do help you